Good morning guys, it's another beautiful morning at the village as you can see so we just woke up and <laughs> I just got that guys had already prepared breakfast so I just want to show you guys basically what's happening it's so cold that's why I'm all dressed up like this but uh, yeah, this is a village. This is a village basically. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see what's for breakfast and uh, how the day unfolds. So in any traditional Kamba ceremony, there has to be a goat that is usually slain yeah i hope i got that right that's usually slain and cooked okay why is it coming at me <laughs> then there's this other goat that's going to be slain then these are firewood that are going to be used So in any ceremony in Africa, we have to use uh, these tents to accommodate people so that when it rains, people don't get rained on. When it's too sunny, people don't frown their faces on the cameras and everything. That's because they're covered on these tents and these plastic chairs are for sitting. So... <clears throat> This is where we are from. It's very hilly at this area. Our home is like on top of the hill, but there is still more there, there are still more hills to go up. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if you guys can see the mist and everything on top there. So that's it. So this is the kitchen in an African traditional home. This is where people cook. This is the goat skin. So after skinning the goat, guys just hang it like this in the kitchen just to dry it up. And it can be used to make either clothes, uh, stools, leather, or anything else that people make with goat skin. Then. This is the mode of cooking that you use. This is, this is a three stones with some firewood and a sufuria. This is boiling water used for bathing. Yeah. So guys are just having breakfast now. <laughs> Ivi e aka mwene ni water 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 Everything is good, 
of lower condemning and negotiating towards their approach. So thank you God for ever. That's nice, that's mm-hmm. nice. That's how every b- bride feels, I believe. So, what up here to get a rich? Really? Even though it's a scare. We water. We water, Rita. Me, Nikopoa. We could not support cousin here too. She's like our sister, eh? Yeah. Yeah. She's the youngest. Yes, actually. Of all of us. Now I met Peter. But we wish you all the best. Tuko hapa ku support na tunakupenda. That's why we are here. Mm. All the best, all the best. Everything will be okay. This far. Like to get iko sawa tu. Thank you. Takua poa. Si mwenyewe. Si ringe ringe basi. Ringa. Ndio hiyo sasa eh. Ndio huyo. Mwenyewe. Unasikia gani? <laughs> so at the moment the negoci- negotiation negotiations negotiations are going on so I want to capture just a bit because this part is really for for the elders so we are not allowed to be amongst them so I just want to capture a bit of what's happening and show you guys
So while the food was getting ready, the deal was sealed. As you can see, everyone is on smiles and the groom cannot uh, believe this is a bride because of how beautiful she looked. So in the Kamba culture, when the marriage is done or when it is already sealed, when the agreement is made, when the negotiations have been agreed by both the teams, they usually proceed to cut and share liver from the goat that we slaughtered earlier on. So that is cooked liver. You can use cooked liver or any other uh, inner intestines of the goat. So you share this liver with your family, uh, both the families here, and the rules are the first person to uh, to have the liver is the mothers from both side of the wife and the husband. So they basically feed the mothers and then after the mothers, they feed themselves. They, that is, they share a meal together. That is the bride and the groom. And then after they've eaten together, they now share to the rest of the family members. Each uh, will get about a piece or two of the liver and that uh, shows that they're ready to be a, a one family and to share the meals and everything together. So we had to show up and out for our girl with these beautiful matching kitenges just to represent our Africanness. So the next step was to cover up four girls completely so that the groom could not recognize the wife. And he should prove to us that he knows her better than anyone else, even when completely covered so that is the next step that we are uh, going to and uh, basically the marriage is sealed and what is following next is just the ceremony just uh, for him to choose the wife and then we cut the cake and then the ceremony will be done.